Hi, I'm Tom Workman and I'm a co-owner and guide in Workman Outfitters and uh, today I thought I would do uh, a video or I guess what all the cool kids call a vlog um, about can a guy still dream at 50. Um, and before I answer that question, um, let me get you a, a little bit of a, a history and background on, on me and why I started Workman Outfitters. Um, and by the way, this video is raw, it's uncut, um, it's uh, um, not altered in any way through um, the editing process, which I think, I don't know, makes it all the more vulnerable. <laughs> um, so about four and a half years ago, through a series of unfortunate events in my life, um, I had decided to start Workman Outfitters. One, because my son, to give him opportunities in life, and um, he's fished all his life, and he had his dream, and um, um, again, through, again, through some unfortunate events, um, needed to pick up the pieces and start Workman Outfitters. Um, and I had always fished throughout my whole life. I've always enjoyed that. Um, I've always enjoyed the outdoors. And so I thought that um, by those unfortunate events that the two of us could form this, this partnership and start this guide service. Um, and so we did. And I never thought that I would ever be here doing this. Um, you know, I always thought that success was how other people perceived you. And I grew up in West Michigan. And for those of you that don't know West Michigan, um, there's a path that you go down for perceived success. And yeah, I know all of this probably sounds cliche and this is just, you might think this is just another one of those videos, but I'm actually living it. Um, there's this perceived success that you go to high school, you graduate, you, um, go to college, you find someone, you get married, um, you have kids, you build a house, you live in suburbia, um, and you go in day in and day out, and you just start to accumulate these things. And, you know, I think when you hit 50, you start to realize that there's more years in back of you than there is ahead of you, and you want to start to think about, you know, what do I want to be known for? Um, and so, you know, they want to, West Michigan wants you to put you in this box. And, you know, I, I did that. And I was in this box. And, you know, I did that for a number of years. And there was a piece of me that was always missing. And so, you know, like I said, I started Workman Outfitters. And, you know, it's not like I have a lot of money to start this. I don't come from money um, or anything like that. And so I took this risk. And I'm, I, I don't do this full time. Um, so I still have a day job. Um, I'm a banker by day. And, um, but I'm trying to grow this business. And I post these videos about the business, about trying to generate business and to get business to come to us. And, and quite frankly, I, I always wonder what my employer thinks. And, um, and that's a little scary, you know, to, to wonder that, you know, what they think and am I going to come in one day and something may change. But, you know, I've got to get to the point where I'm starting to do stuff for myself. Um, and I've got to do something where I find happiness, but not only happiness, but contentment. Um, and you don't make a lot of money in this business. It's, it's really more about lifestyle wealth than it is material wealth. And quite frankly, I'm okay with that. Um, and so, you know, I've got these, this, this vision that's still out there, even though I'm now 51, I still have this dream that's still out there. And I won't consider myself to be fully successful until I can do this full time. And now maybe that will happen and, and maybe it won't, um, but I'm sure going to try um, with everything I've got to make that dream a reality and whether that dream comes true when I'm 60 or 70, I, I think you just, 
for me, I just, you keep moving forward um, uh, with that. You know, and the worst case that happens out of this is I end up just doing this part-time, but I've got this unique relationship that I've got with one of my kids. Um, and it's, it's something that there's a bond that exists there that, that, you know, that, that nobody can break. Um, and it allows me to stay inspired and to move forward. Um, you know, and a lot of people, not a lot of people, but there are still some people that inspire me. Um, particularly in this business, there's a, there's a handful of guides that I really look up to, um, both from this area and, and not from this area. Um, and some are a little bit older than me, some are my age, um, and some quite frankly are younger than me. And yet somebody, at least I can get inspiration from somebody that's younger than me that is doing it right. Um, and so, you know, I figure I'd just do this quick, uh, I guess what all the cool kids say are vlogs nowadays. And my wife always encourages me to be more vulnerable. And so that's a little difficult for me, but I figured I, it's come, it's become time that I post something like this, um, just so that I can kind of get my story out there. Um, people can really maybe see more the true authentic me um, versus what you see on, on social media all the time. Um, and so I just wanted to do this, this video um, a little bit for that reason. So um, anyway, that's just a quick little story about me. Maybe in the future I'll post more stuff. I don't know, but I thought I would just take the time to, to tell you a little bit about the risks that I'm taking um, even at this age and um, the necessity for taking those risks and why I do that. Anyways, hey, thanks for listening. And um, yeah, maybe someday I'll see you on the water.